everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and yes, today we are playing a brand new game that we have never yet played here on the channel and of course it is Need for Speed Payback. Now, I don't really know much about this game. I've watched a few videos of it on YouTube, but it's not a uh, game that I've ever had a chance to play myself. Um, I have never played this game uh, in my life, but it is a racing game. It looks like a lot of fun. It looks like a really awesome game. And uh, it was free on the PlayStation Store if you had PS Plus. So... I had PS Plus, it was free for me, I thought I'd download it and we could make some videos of it here on the channel. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. We're going to be doing sort of a, uh, we're going to be doing like a let's play series I think on this game, um, providing that you guys like it, we need to just accept the user agreement. Uh, now, I know that it's quite an old game. Um, this game has been out for quite a while now. Um, but as I said, it's not a game I've ever had a chance to play. It looked like a really cool game. Uh, we'll just go medium difficulty. Um, okay, so all drive racing. Challenge other players in free roam races. Pick two points on the map and create your own race. Okay. So that's something that you can do. Um, there's emotes, okay. Multicolor underglow, that's really cool. So I'm guessing there's gonna be some sort of intro race to sort of show you the controls and stuff. I really like the Offro Bel Air gasser there on, on the right. That looks really cool. Um, I wanna get that thing. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's been out for quite a while, Need for Speed Payback. Um, you've all probably seen gameplay of it before. Hopefully now we can actually play the game. Um, yeah, I, I don't know um, much about the game. It's kind of similar to The Crew 2. And uh, it's kind of a cross between The Crew 2 and like GTA 5, I think. Um, ooh, I like that gasser. That looks really cool. Tyler Morgan, okay. So it's introducing us to some of the characters. Oh, I'm feeling vibrations on the controller. So here we go. Oh, yes. We're behind the wheel of a skyline. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's always the thing when you jump into a new game is getting used to how it feels. You know, I play a lot of racing games. I love racing games and car free mode games kind of like this. But every every game like this handles differently. Um, I do quite like the feel actually. It's it's quite responsive. You've got to get used to it, but it is responsive. Oh, we're going to get to drive the gasser. I think we are. Who's this guy? Sean McAllister. He's got a gasser, which is cool, and it's an off-road gasser. I mean. It doesn't get much better than that. Okay, so these things drift a lot more. So you can hang the back end out on this. Oh, we've gone a little bit off the course. Dirty boy, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, oh, we've got a, a lady driver. Okay, who's this? Jessica Miller. Okay. And she's got, a, is that an M2? I don't know BMW, so correct me. I think it's an M3, actually. We've just taken out an NPC driver. <laughs> oh. Do we have, oh, okay. So we actually have uh, knots as well. That's pretty cool. Um, so it is really like the Crew 2. I can't think of the name of them, but um, I played some of the older Need for Speed games on my 360, and I really enjoyed some of those. Um, I think Calling All Units, Need for Speed Calling All Units, was that a thing? Or I think I'm getting mixed up, but anyway, um, yeah, I have played some uh, Need for Speed games in the past, and I did really enjoy them. So I have no doubt that I will enjoy this. Oh, who's this guy? Someone turning up in a Corvette. 
Looks like another lady driver. Linda N Navarro. Okay. You'll be driving the prize. You and your crew better pull this off. See what did I say? Linda Navarro is the best damn fix from Silver. Oh, so I think we're going to be doing a heist. Ooh! Yeah. Is that mine? I hope that's mine. Oh. Ray Chowdery? I think. Is that how you pronounce that? Chowdery? Something like that. Someone will correct me. We've got a, a like a Mustang Beater. That's really cool. An artist can turn any pile of scrap into a supercar. I like it in, in this, yeah I like it like that, I don't want to change it, yeah I want to put a better engine in it but I like it as a beater, oh yeah that is cool, do we get to drive it now, oh I'm feeling vibrations, yes we get to drive the beater, okay so we get NOS from the get go, that's pretty cool, oh I do like this thing a lot. Alright, let's, let's use a bit of NOS, let's get this going. I do like the scenery, looks absolutely beautiful. Um, it looks a little bit more realistic than, whoa, than the Crew 2. I mean, the Crew 2 is more of an arcade game. Um, I guess this is also an arcade game, but it, it does look a little bit more realistic at least. The handling is very arcade, the way it kind of like drifts like this. Uh, oh, we're going off-road now. Okay. Lena. Another lady driver. There's a lot of lady drivers in this game. Uh, which is fine, you know. I'm not a sexist person. Oh. Oh, yes. Nice big jump. Oh. Go, 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 go. Oh. Jess has appeared. Oh no 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 no. Yeah, there's quite a bit of understeer with this thing. Yeah, I think that will take a bit of correcting. Obviously it's like a beater. It's like a... Well, it's the very first car that you drive in the game. So the point is that you're supposed to like build the car up and fix it. Um, but yeah, it doesn't handle the best at the moment. A little bit more control would be nice. But, yeah, it's definitely a, a cool car. I like the look of it anyway. The, the look of this thing looks awesome. Oh, we've got another cutscene. There is some uh, talking going on. I don't know if that's coming across. I'm probably talking over most of it. Um, I will try and put subtitles on. Um, oh, okay, so this is like uh, the city area. Well, that was quite a cool intro. Oh, Billionaire's Row Silver Rock. Ooh, Koenig's Egg. Is that, I think that's, is that a Regera? With an R? I don't know, I don't know Koenig's Eggs very well. Yeah, I think it is a Regera. Who's this guy? Marcus Weir. Twin Turbo V8. Mm, I'd like one of those. <laughs> I think they're gonna steal this car. I don't know. Let's see. I think we're gonna be driving the Regera and I think we're gonna steal it. And then probably some bad guys are gonna come after us because we took his car away from him. Yeah, it is a Regera. It says it there on the back. Oh, it's a beautiful looking car. And I believe it has Active Aero as well. Yes, it does. I love Active Aero. It's a brilliant thing. 
every car should have active aero. It's kind of like pop-up headlights. It's like every car should have pop-up headlights. Every car should have active aero. It's just fantastic. This thing also has NOS, so it appears like the crew to everything in this game has NOS. Um, I'm guessing you can probably upgrade the NOS so it lasts longer and it's like more powerful and stuff. Um, oh, we got another. Oh my god. That's some Dukes of Hazard stuff right there. My, the controller's talking to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oops. I thought we were in a cutscene there. Yeah, the controller talks. That's pretty cool. So you can, like, hear the police chatter. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It doesn't appear to damage the car. That's good. Um... Oh, where are we going now? Oh, yes, the lady takes one for the team. Yes, okay, okay, now we're driving this car. Oh, can we take out the... Uh, I think we took out that police officer, man. Oh, it's an M5. It's an M5. No, did I just saw Nos coming out of the police car's exhaust? That is not okay. The police are not allowed to have Nos. Oh shit. Oh shit. Can we take this guy out as well? Yes. Nice. That was a pretty cool takedown. Oh shit. Come on, send him into the. Oh, that was a good takedown. Okay. We sent the other guy into the barrier, I think. Oh, shit. We just got a ram from behind. They're trying to take me out now. Oh, okay. I thought that was it then. I thought that was mission over. No. Okay, so on this mission, we do appear to be taking damage. Oh, we've got another cutscene. Another ram. Jesus Christ, these guys are nuts. Are we driving the Regera again? I like the Regera. I hope we get to keep this car. I'm having I've got a feeling we won't. I have a feeling we're stealing this and then selling it. Which is kind of a shame because I really like how this thing drives. It's really nice. It's a nice looking car as well. Okay. We got another cutscene. Ooh, yes. Scissor doors is nice little. Are they scissor? I don't think they're scissor doors. Oh. Oh, she's double crossing him. Oh shit. Oh shit. She's just, she's just taking the car and double cross it. Oh, shit's about to get real now. Okay. Oh, this is going to be some Fast and Furious type shit right now. Draw the cops away. Okay. Oh, I do like how this thing drives. This is, this is the best handling car so far. Oh, shit. I need to learn <laughs> to use the brakes. Oh, we got a policeman. The police chatter thing is a little bit distracting, I'm not going to lie. But it is really, really cool. I do like that. That was Fast and Furious. -y. She sounded like Fast and Furious police lady. Nissan Skyline. It's 
how they say it in America, don't they? They say Nissan instead of Nissan. Like in England, we say Nissan. In America, they say Nissan. Oh, we got Camaro now. Whose is this car? I like this car. Oh, this is, uh, I can't remember what his name is. Oh, was it? I don't think it was a Camaro. It looks like a Aston Martin now in the back. I swear it was a Camaro when we pulled up. Oh, so now we're going to work for this guy. He's a bit... Oh, it is an Aston Martin. I swear it was a Camaro when we pulled up. Oh, there's a Camaro there. And that is a Aston Martin. So we're going to go work for this guy, but he seems like a bit of a... I uh, don't know how to describe him. He seems a bit low down. He doesn't seem like a very nice guy. Oh, six months later. Um, I'm already digging the storyline a lot. I like uh, racing games a lot. Um, I like uh, free roam driving games as well and simulation games. But when it has a good storyline, it makes you want to play the game more. That's what I liked about the, the original crew game, the crew one had a fantastic storyline this looks like it would have a similar storyline it's like a very fast and furious themed storyline like fast cars um, you know revenge on people I am dying to get into the whole uh, free free mode bit a little bit I want to explore the map a little bit I want to customize some cars but I guess we have to kind of get through the first part of the story shit this is a very nice car I think is this the this is not the Vulcan that's the the race car one is this the Vantage I don't know Aston Martin as well um, so if I just offended you, I apologize. I, I love Aston Martins, they look beautiful, but I don't know the lineup very well. Oh, speedrun activity. Set the fastest average speed through the checkpoints. Different activities are spread throughout Fortune Valley. Okay. Let's go for a bit of NOS. Yeah, we've got NOS on an Aston Martin. I don't think that's ever been done in real life. Speed run end. That wasn't a very difficult speed run. Come on, guys. There was it was literally a straight line. I do like this map though. It looks very cool. I'm dying to go and explore this map. It looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, we can switch camera. Ah, oh, that's much better. Yeah, I was I was gonna say earlier. I really don't like the close-up bumper camera. But so we have the action camera, we have the bumper camera, we have hood camera, we've got near camera, and the far camera. I like the far camera, I think that is the best. I might be driving a little bit better now as well. Okay, what have we got next? Speed trap, hit the fastest top speed. Okay. And we hit 114, yeah. Well, it, it doesn't give you much time to um, prepare for these activities that it wants you to do. So we're definitely going to have to go back and try and beat our, our time and our top speed. Shit. Oh. Right, we got another cutscene. Ooh, McLaren P1. I do like McLarens. Oh, it's Navarro. Is, is it Navarro? I think that was her name. Ooh, P1. In dark purple, the P1 is beautiful.
been six, six months. months. Get out. Yeah. If you, you so, so much, much as ding, ding my car, I'm not going down, down the garbage truck. truck. Ooh, we got a, it's a, uh, an Aventador in the background. It's a nice looking car. I'm dying to just get into the whole car. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, I like that Diablo in the background. Oh, yes. I'm just ooing at everything. Yeah, Nissan Fair Lady. Beautiful car. I like the ratty look of it. Looks absolutely awesome. We've even got knots on this thing. Oh, that is just fantastic. Yeah, I love this thing. It's really cool. I like how this guy used to drive a Nissan uh, Skyline and now he's driving a Fair Lady Z. He's upgraded. I think this thing's better than the Skyline. I like it more. It looks cool. I like the ratted look of it. But I'm guessing he's probably had to sell his car for whatever reason. So we've got to drive home now. I'm guessing that is the like the place we were at earlier. Oh, there's a police chase going on up ahead. Uh, we might be able to customize the car when we get back. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get past the sort of like introduction. Uh, I think this video is just going to be me playing through the introduction, and then in the next video we'll try and get into the actual customizing of the cars and explore a bit of the map. That was not what you're supposed to do, but anyway. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want this video to go too long, so we'll drive home. Oh, I've taken a wrong turn. The brakes on this thing are shockingly bad. Oh. Is this home? Oh, this is home. Oh, okay. Come on. Get it in the garage. There we go. Yeah. I'm still not used to the, uh, the whole controls. What's happening now? Are we going to go and sleep, I think? Oh. It's the next day, yeah. Oh, I hear we got a one EP candidate to race for the house, huh? Yeah. yeah. Just give me a time and a place. Whoa, whoa, slow down. You think the house hires just anybody? You have to prove yourself first. Show me what you got. This thing looks awesome. I really like this thing. It's got a few act aftermarket parts on, like the, uh, the splitter down there. I like that. He's gone for the removed uh, spoiler look, and he's got some aftermarket wheels on there. I like that. Oh, we have to open the map. Okay, so we're here. Um, let's have a look at the map, actually. Now, now we have a chance. Uh, it looks like quite a big map, actually. Um, there's a runway sort of over here. Looks like there's an airport over here, so we've got another little runway. This looks like maybe like a pit mine. That will be really cool. I'm dying to go and explore that. Um, I, this is like just some more countryside, I guess. And this, I think, is supposed to be like our first race. Lakeside Sprint. Um, it recommends that you level 140, and we're already level 159. Oh, well, our car is. Um, so I guess we'll go and do this we'll we'll go and do this race and then we'll leave it here for this video so I'll go ahead and travel over there and then we'll go and do the race right here we are at the lakeside sprint um, <laughs> the brakes are absolutely shocking on this thing uh, how do we Ah, here we go. Okay, R1 to enter. Um, I don't know how our car is going to fare. We've got a few aftermarket parts on there. Um, we've got NOS on there, obviously. But, yeah, let's just see how we do. Oh, nice big burnout off the line. Let's go for some NOS off the bat. There we go. What are we racing against? We've got an MX-5. 
Um, I don't know what is that thing in front. That looks like a an Integra, maybe. I don't know Japanese cars well. It sounds like I don't know anything about cars. That that is what I've learnt from this video. Is I know absolutely nothing about cars. <laughs> Uh, that looks like an old Skyline, or oh, maybe that, no, I think that was an old Supra actually. It's like a Mark III Supra. We're doing pretty well so far. Use the brakes that don't work. Oh, nice big drift. Let's go for some NOS. I think we're going to win. Yes, cross the line. Event complete with a time of 1 minute 15.46. There we go. Tune-up shop restocked. Oh, okay, and we've um, we've unlocked a new race, which is over here, the Rustway Circuit Race. Um, so I guess we have to do a couple of races to earn a bit of money before we can go and do some upgrades and stuff. Um, which uh, I think in the next episode we will go and do some more races. And hopefully try and upgrade our little uh, Nissan a little bit. But yeah, as a little introduction to Need for Speed Heat, I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's absolutely fantastic game. I'm dying to get into it a bit more. I'm dying to make some more videos for you all. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, I know it's been out for a long time. You've probably all seen uh, gameplay of this um, game already. Um, but since it was free on the PlayStation Store, I thought I'd jump in and check it out. And uh, yeah, so far I'm really enjoying it. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see me play some more Need for Speed Heat. And uh, if you know a bit more about the game and you want to fill me in on some of the some of the things that you can do in this game, then please do. Um, um, I love hearing all your guys' comments. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video.